and welcome to the second edition of Abortion is Healthcare, the podcast of the McHenry County Citizens for Choice, MCCC, and the McHenry County Citizens for Choice Education Fund, also known as Toby's Fund for Women's Health, an abortion fund. We're located in McHenry County, Illinois. It has been a startlingly busy couple of weeks since our last podcast. Most notably, there was an inauguration where the first pro-choice female was sworn in as Vice President Kamala Harris, who promptly swore in three new pro-choice senators. Her replacement, Alex Padilla from California, and two pro-choice senators from Georgia, Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff. There was other good news. We celebrated 48 years of Roe v. Wade in the last couple of weeks, and President Biden rescinded the global gag rule on abortion. There were some negatives. The Supreme Court ruled that you can no longer send the abortion pill, misoprostol. In Texas, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals convened to consider banning the safest and most common method of abortion used later in pregnancy, the D&E, which is dilation and elimination. It is only used in about 5% of all abortions. Finally, closer to home in Illinois, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services launched an investigation to see if Illinois had violated a federal law that was enacted in June of 2019 by Governor Pritzker called the Reproductive Health Act, which mostly affects women on Medicaid and affirms their right to birth control, to carrying a pregnancy to term, and to having an abortion. One of the remnants, the Parental Notification Act, which will be voted on in the next Senate. Our last podcast centered on this, and we will be following it. In a final bit of news, Joseph Scheidler, who was a major architect of the anti-abortion movement, died last week at 93. He founded the Pro-Life Action League. He was the first, just to refresh your memory, to use those very large, fake pictures of mangled fetuses. And since last week was also Holocaust Remembrance Day, it should be noted that he once likened abortion clinics to concentration camps like Dachau. On another front, we have a new segment. Our investigative reporter, Debs Walner, has explored a rather unexpected advocacy front. Here she is with her report on the Church of Satan. Everybody goes Satanists. They worship Satan. No, no, they don't believe in Satan. They don't believe in, they believe religion and superstition should be totally separate. Um, that you should live by scientific fact as far as you understand it. There should be, your, your body is inviolate. You're the only one who has any control over your body under any circumstances. And to the Satanists, what Satan symbolizes is the eternal rebel rebelling against um, authority that has no reason for being there. Um, laws that have no reason for being there, regulations, and that abortion comes into that because there are all kinds of regulations to make it harder to get, to make people wait, to 
make people have unnecessary exams to tell them lies about what abortion will do to them. And the Satanists believe that the, none of that should have any effect on a person. The person's body is their own. Anything within their body is under their control and nobody should control it that. So they have um, used the the Religious Freedom Restoration Act mm -hmm. is um, that's the one that came out with Ho that Hobby Lobby wouldn't have to um, provide birth control for their employees, even though it would be the employees paying for it. You know, it is that's part of their salary. So Hobby Lobby can control what you do with your own money. Well, that's a short step to controlling what you do with your own body, too. Um, so the, the Satanists feel that with the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, that would prote that protects the sacrament of abortion. And that's a ritual that uh, the Satanists have developed around abortion. So that means that, that the state has no ability to regulate it, that uh, they can't force you to wait. They can't force you to have sonograms, listen to fetal heartbeats, none of that. It, it, it's just the woman herself. And there's a ritual for... Um, for a surgical abortion and a ritual for a medical abortion. Very similar, but a little, you know, just slightly different. Uh, the Satanists are just really practical, down to earth people who believe that religion has no place in public life. Supreme Court sits in Washington. Everyone a mother's son, women's face.